right hi y'all today is mm, march the 8th and guess what we're already wrapping up march <laughs> can you believe that <laughs> all right so let's just talk about this this is uh, my second update of the month so i would like to save up two thousand this month i would also like to live off paycheck number one which is this one and i just want to keep it simple so where are we at so this my goal is obviously to keep my expenses low so that obviously i can save up more money throughout the month right which will help me accomplish these bigger goals and it's just to challenge myself you guys it's to challenge myself so the reason why we're already done <laughs> as of the 8th of of March with our budgeting is because all of these extra bills have come through. So looking at this from the previous paycheck, we took care of not the paycheck, but the first part, we took care of half of my rent. The other part of my rent comes from somewhere else. We pay my Capital One large credit card and my Dominion Energy. We also gave my son his allowance. We did gas. We did food out. And we did laundry. So that right there, these bills that I just mentioned left us with $417.51. Now, the reason why I still split it up, even though I'm living off one paycheck, I still like to split it up. All right. Because some of these bills, I don't know what they're going to be in advance. Okay. For instance, our cell phone bill. I went over data. So that was 12 bucks higher. Richmond Utilities. Uh, that can vary, you know, if we're using heat and not using heat, etc. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, anyways, now we can get these out the way with. We have my Capital One small credit card, which is $55. My Discover credit card is $22. And these credit cards, um, they're not a balance on the account. They're not a balance. They are strictly just me putting like little bills on there. One has like Netflix. The other one has our home internet for our, our own personal use. And then like the other one has uh, my Amazon Prime as well as my son's Xbox Live membership. Donations is $50. Arishma Utilities was actually $39. As I mentioned, our cell phone bill was a little bit higher than I would expect it. By twelve dollars because I did go over data, um, so that was ninety four dollars, and I work from home. Internet is hundred and two dollars, and we'll talk about this one in just a moment. <laughs> so with that, y'all, that's three hundred and sixty two dollars for these bills. So if you do three hundred sixty two subtracted from there, that leaves us with like fifty five dollars. So that's what I ended up doing. I'm putting that into allowance. Now, with my allowance, y'all, I use my allowance however I want without feeling guilty. So if I want to buy extra food, more food out, if I want to buy the girls some snacks or whatever, that's what I can use it for. So the things that we are not funding is our dog category for this month. House items, we're not funding that because as I mentioned, we still have money left over. I think the account now has like, a hundred and something dollars in there with this money in here so we're doing really good maintenance for my son's haircut we still got forty dollars sitting downstairs we just got to book his appointment and our savings challenge we are not funding that so all together this is 305 for the like variable expenses our bills I didn't calculate, but it was 362 and 576. Anyways, it all comes out to be $1,243. $1,243. And obviously, 51 cents is still in the account, but we did pretty, pretty good. All right. So, if you guys just want to know about my extra income, as you guys know, I work at Amazon. I ain't going to front, y'all. I, I get nervous. Because I don't know if I'm going to have a job at Amazon. Um, so Sunday I had called out. Anyways, I'm in a negative five minutes. 
And I don't know if that's going to be cause for termination. It shouldn't, but I don't know. I just wasn't in the mood, y'all. I'm not really like, <laughs> I ain't going to get into it, but yeah, I'm just not in the mood. I like working at Amazon, but over this weekend, I just didn't want to do anything. And one thing, as I mentioned, I'm keeping it simple. Amazon is not needed. Amazon is not a plan B anymore. I have my full-time job and that's all that I really need. But I still like to get out the house. So if anything changes with Amazon, I'll let you know. But anyways, my second paycheck that will be paid out as of the 10th, I was able to see that today. And that's $229.53. And then obviously we have our pay and first Amazon paycheck. So all of this, I bring it down here because this is all going into savings. I scratched this amount out because I used that for the second half. This is less me track what we have left over for like the remaining of the bills all right let's talk about my car quick 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 <laughs> so i already knew i would have to get stuff fixed on my car um march i get my car inspected so i can get like another year worth of inspection out the way with right um here in virginia we do have to get our cars inspected annually now last year Last March, the um, the air, the place that I went to, they gave me, I got everything that needed to be fixed for purposes of passing inspection. But, you know, you go to these car dealers, not car dealers, but you go to these body shops or whatever, mechanics, and they, you know, they look over the car. That's their, that's their job, but they give you um, information about what else you can get done. Now, some of these other things I've said, they said they're not bad, but these are things that we would recommend. And I'm like, okay, if I don't need to do this right now, I'm already giving you guys like a thousand, what did I spend like a thousand dollars on my car last year to pass inspection? I'm like, I ain't putting no more money into it. Nope. These other things are just, um, you know, what is it like? option optional so those optional things i put off now coming into this year okay my finances are obviously better before i was part-time i was living off of my um my um income tax but at the same time i know my car y'all you know i have had my car since what 2000 uh, 2011 I think, yeah, it was 2011, November 2011. I've had my car since then. And I know my car. And I, I've been telling you guys, you know, based on what they told me and based on my car, you know, little noises, nothing bad. I knew I wanted to get things fixed. So this time when I went to go get my car done, <clears throat> I showed them the list that the previous body shop recommended. The guy said, okay, I'll write this on your chart, but, you know, my guy, the ins inspector at this location, will look over the car, you know, and if they come, if he says the same things, then we can address those. So anyways, there were, out of everything that the previous body shop mentioned, they only mentioned one of those things. And what they said is that, I think it was, had to do with like a, a shock one rear shock or something like that they say it's not bad they say you can wait for that for like next year or two years they said it's not bad so you know i respect that you know you're not trying to take money from me um you're being honest i appreciate that but they did mention two other things so well four things four things they mentioned so this right here in this bill i got three things taken care of like 400 like, let's so say 500 was the parts. The other $562 was labor. Basically, that's what it was. Anyways, I ended up getting my, um, what is that belt? The belt on the alternator changed. They said it was cracking. And I kind of figured that that needed to be replaced because my car, when I need that belt replaced, it starts to like squeal. My car squeals, okay? And that's only when the belt starts to do that. And it's been doing it for a while. So when they mentioned it, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Then there was like an axle, a front axle or something like that. 
Now that alternator belt, that was not required to pass inspection. The one that was uh, needed to pass inspection, I think it was a axle, a front axle. It was like broken. And that made sense to me because when I turn the wheel a certain way, it will make a noise. So I ended up getting that fixed. And what else did I get fixed? Hold on, y'all. Let me pull out this paper. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, sorry. It was the wheel bearing. Okay, the right rear wheel bearing needed to be done. So I got that done. Um, The left rear shock, that could be down the road, they said. Oh, I did get an axle done. There was a left front axle is torn. So I did end up getting that done. Okay. Um, and the, um, the belt. I feel like they did an alignment. They didn't charge me for an alignment, but I feel like they did an alignment. Um, but my car, it wasn't bad off anyways. But on the, on the bill, it didn't say anything about alignment. Whatever. That was just a suggestion that they mentioned. I said, go ahead with it. <laughs> but obviously, they probably didn't feel like it was needed to be done, even after these things being done. So I got the belt done for the alternator. We got the uh, front left front axle redone. And we got the um, right rear wheel bearing done. Now the other thing I still I still have not passed inspection. These three things that I just mentioned to you cost this much. Now they did let me know that my muffler, my some some something with my muffler is leaking. And they said we can't have a leaking muffler. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so they said we don't have the equipment in for that at our location. So they gave me two, like two places that they would recommend people go to anytime there's like any muffler or anything like that that needs to be done. Whether they're in cahoots with each other, I don't know. I don't care. But I will plan on going to one of these uh, places. And the good thing is, you know, it's early in the month. I don't have to get my, once you get your car done, if you don't pass inspection, they put a sticker up and that sticker is good for, I think, 30 days to, you know, figure out what, what you're going to do, you know. So I'm happy I'm, I'm doing everything in advance, but that just means that whatever this deal is with the muffler, I asked them, I said, do you have like, you know, a price range? She's like, nah, because we don't do that stuff at our shop. And I'm like, ugh. I have never gone to a shop where they're like, nah, we, we don't do that. You got to go somewhere else. I have never had that. Uh, besides with my um, window tents, I understand that. West well, window, window tents. But if you're a mechanic, why can't you do everything? But you know what? I respect it. I'd rather get things done the right way. So I will have to come back to you. So that's going to be an extra cost. Once I get the muffler done, then I would have to get... My car reinspected, and that's only going to be a dollar. The inspection cost twenty dollars, and that was included in here as well. But yeah, that's what we're doing now. I will say, I will say, this kind of goes in hand with the kind of. With, I was thinking roughly around two thousand dollars, y'all. If I can get past with five hundred dollars or less for the muffler, I would be happy. Um, also. This bill was going to be like 1160 something. Um, but anyways, I have um this particular shop, they gave me um like an email of coupons like a month or so back. And I'm like, oh, I my timing's gonna be right. And I'm like, okay, the one that I was shooting for was going to be 12% off of one thing, but it was like off certain things like alignment, 12% off alignment or um, shocks and stuff. But we didn't get shocks done, right? I did get something done with suspension. So I don't know if the rear bearing has something to do with suspension. But the guy was like, you know what? Let's do this. He changed some numbers around. He he brought it down from like 160, 100, 1,160 something to this. So he cut off like 20, uh, 80 something dollars for me. So I appreciate it. It's even better than the 12%. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm very fortunate about that because that 12% would have only been off one um, one thing. So yeah. So yeah, I did ask and um, we'll see how the muffler goes. But so far, y'all, this is, this is it. And I'm not even mad. My car drives like a dream, y'all. 
I'm I am so so honest about driving my car until the wheels fall off. My car takes care of me. If I could pay one thousand five hundred, it depends on what the muffler is, but I'm hoping is within that range. <laughs> I I wouldn't care if that can bring me for another carry me for another year. Seeing how high car prices are right now, my one thousand five hundred would probably get me three car payments. You know what I mean? Depends on what car you get, right? So I I rather do this. Um, my car is in good shape, as I mentioned. As long as if it's nothing major with like the engine or transmission, these other things, even newer cars will have to get these things fixed eventually. You're riding on the road is regular wear and tear. You know what I mean? So you every single time something comes up, you're gonna get us get a new car, get a new car, get a new no. Fix what you have. And this is about being content, right? Like it's not it's at first, you know, having the money is good. So that's that's one less stress free thing. But even if I didn't have the money, I would rather put this on a credit card versus having a car payment that's gonna be for what however long six seven years whatever they are now because prices are up and so forth and no i'd rather do this i'd rather do this um and we'll see if my car carries me through for another year i'm at like 223 2000 223 to 224 miles so yeah i got quite a bit of miles on it but my car drives like brand new y'all so yes I'll keep you guys posted, and this money will just come out of savings, so I haven't figured out where this money will come from. Will it come from my actual savings, or will it come from these things? I would love if it, if my Amazon can just pay for it, and then I can save my second paycheck, but we'll see. We'll, we'll come back to you guys about that. <sighs> Let me know. Have y'all had any recent car repairs? How much was it? What did you get fixed? Let me know. Let me know. Having a car is no joke. And, you know, when I got my son's car, I was like, that's another car to take care of. <laughs> but you know what? You know, we take if you take good care of your cars, your cars will take care of you. So I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye.